What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go with a new one. This one is called Ready to Are You Ready to Die with Tyrone? Uh, it's a 36 minute video. I'm not going to be doing 36 minutes. You guys already know. We're going to get to what we can. Hopefully it's a good one. I don't know anything about it. Uh, so let's get right into it. Hey, hey, how you doing, Mark? I'm good. Oh, Mark. All right, hey. I'm here too, big dog. I'm right here. Tyrone, I'm doing good though. How you doing? You know what? I want to ask you a question. All right. Are you ready to die? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. No? Yeah. But you know, I told this lady that. I said, no, I ain't ready to die. She said, because you ain't living right. Now, who ready to die? I mean, since I believe in the universe, if I die, that means I'm going to have to feed the, I'm, I'm feeding the universe. The universe still got a purpose for me. That's why I'm still here. Because, man, I know. Overdose on fentanyl. I don't do fentanyl. But somebody gave it to me, and I thought it was me. Dio, somebody gave it to me. For my, my medicine. <laughs> Your crack. And my crack. I thought it was mixed with my medicine. They, they look the same. And, and, and it was like brown and white. I'm like, I'm thinking it's the reds or something, right? And I hit it, and I just went down. Fortunately, the ambulance was there for somebody else. <laughs> Uh, Tyrone, you stole somebody's ambulance? How you do that? Big dog, you ain't even awake. And he didn't want to go with them. He oh. wanted his wife to come pick him up. Oh, he's smart. That's expensive. What, eight, nine hundred dollars just for them to take you to the hospital? And somehow they came to holler at me and, 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 I, and I'm, I'm down, eyes open, wasn't breathing. They said I, I, I was flatlined for six minutes. Mm. Now people be talking about, oh, when you die, man, you see the light. I ain't see no light. Oh. It was dark. I don't even remember that. <laughs> he emphasized how dark it was, but he don't remember that. That's how dark it was. It was so dark he don't remember. You know, and, and w w what tripped me out, man? I had a neighbor. I used to be on. I used to talk shit to him. Man, you don't want to live. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just want to smoke, 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 smoke. I ain't giving you no more dope. Plus, I wanted to keep my own dope anyway. But I ain't, <laughs> I ain't giving you no more dope, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeding you. I ain't giving you no more dope. <laughs> And then every morning I go for my little routine, bring me some crack back, and he'd be sitting out the tent. This morning he wasn't sitting out the tent. So I said, man, get your ass up, get up. And, and when I hit his leg, it was stiff. Oh, damn. Stiff as a doorknob, and I just looked at him. I looked at his stomach, he wasn't breathing. And you know how scared, because we, we got the same illness, congested heart failure. Oh. He wouldn't go get his medication, man. Mm. 66 years old. He wouldn't go get his medication. And I think he just gave up. But then I stopped. Nah, I don't know. I, his heart gave up. <laughs> I don't think he, but you know, I, 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 clowning aside, I know what he means, man. You know, some people, they get so caught up in their addiction. That they feel like, you know what, there's got to be something better than this. And they don't know how to make it better here. So they do give up. I, I get what he's saying. I was just getting my clown on, but I know exactly what he's saying. Thinking, Mark, man, am I giving up? Because I'm smoking like a broke stove. <laughs> you know? It's like I'm hustling to smoke. I will say this. He's one of the cleanest crackheads I've ever seen. Look, his hat, his white hat is actually white. His white pants are actually white. I mean, I don't, what is that shirt? Is he a counselor? The crack counselor? But I mean, he looks clean, shit. Man, and, and I'm tired. But am I tired physically or spiritually? Cause mm, I'm tired spiritually. This dude is deep, man. He started out with a deep question and look at, he said, am I tired physically? I thought he was going to say, or mentally. When he said spiritually, whoa. I'm going to quit, and I'm not ready to quit. Mm. And I really want to know. He's preaching. What the universe got in store for me, man. Mm. Because I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I've been in a motorcycle accident. I've been stabbed. I've been shot back in the day. I mean, what is my purpose? I end up from downtown Skid Row, from Chicago, Illinois. What's my purpose? Am I, am I, am I uh, 
supposed to be with some type of uh, leader or something one day. I mean, I don't know why I'm here, man. I wish somebody give me some answers because, like I say, if I die. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm impressed with them. I thought this was going to be something where I was going to have more fun and we were going to laugh. But this is um actually refreshing to me. When you have somebody who caught up in addiction, um, his financial and residential circumstances aren't the best. He's not blaming others. He's just wondering what his purpose is. Most people will never in their lifetime ask themselves, what is my purpose in life? What, am, what, what was I put here to do? So this dude is searching his soul and his unhappiness. He's not blaming others. He's searching within his own soul. I mean, I died. It don't seem like, I don't know if it is the other side. Because if you die, you die. You die and your spirit leaves your body. Now they bring it back, I, I don't know how that go. But your spirit leaves your body. Now if your spirit leaves your body, evidently your spirit know things. I mean, you'll see something. I don't remember nothing. Somebody, oh man, uh, 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 you'll, you'll find out later. It'll reveal to you later. Reveal to me later. Man, I'm so ashamed, man. I'm just, I'm just, for some reason, man, it's just, I'm ashamed of myself today. Mm. I really am. I'm ashamed of myself. I, and I don't know why. Now, like I said, I just got, they just put me in a shelter. I'm tripping. I got my own big screen TV on the wall. I bet you he's going to say he don't deserve it. I got a refrigerator. I got a shower in the bathroom. And you know what I did? I went outside took a leak. <laughs> because it, I'm in there by myself. And I like being by myself. But I had to get comfortable. And the only way I got comfortable, I came back down here, got me some crack, went to the room, and started smoking. This is what I've told people. I've talked to my lady about this. I've talked to a lot of people about this. People can be in the worst circumstances, be miserable, the most unhappy in those circumstances. But you know what's even worse for them? Change. Because in those miserable circumstances, there's comfort for them. It's the routine. This dude, this is proof of what I've told people over and over and over. It is so hard and so scary to change, to hold yourself responsible and accountable. You know, uh, I'm glad I found this video, though, man. That's the only, that's the only way I get comfortable in that room. I mean, man, I'm, I'm watching TV. I'm watching Tombstone. I love Tombstone. The, the West, I love it. But then it just seemed like I'm looking around and it's quiet. Ain't no chaos. It ain't. Now I got to try to recondition myself to something. I'm not used to. Hmm. And how do you do that? Just like getting ready to die, huh? This lady gonna lie to me talking about she ready. Man, you told I don't believe nobody ready to die. Nobody. Because you, nobody don't know what's on the other side if it is the other side. Man, I'm just... Like I said, man, I'm 55 years old, man. I get scared for some reason. Hmm. And I, I might not be living right. But who lives right? Nobody lives right. So I got to respond to... Listen, I don't know. You know, I know a lot of people tune into my channel because the reactions are funny. I'm going to tell you guys right now. This dude is giving game. This dude is speaking. Um, I'm very, very, very into what he's talking about. I think it's thought provoking. Um, but I, I do know this. This is game for free. I know Mark didn't pay this man what this is worth. 
this type of um, uh, openness, um, this type of bluntness coming from where he's from. This dude should have this dude should have got paid a whole lot of money to do this. And I'm glad it's on YouTube for free and I'm glad I ran across it. You know, I've, I've said before a lot of times in my other channel and, and videos on lives, I'm a person that I never believe in coincidence. Everything that happens happens for a reason. Um, I don't know if I needed this video today, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to see it that they need it, man. So this is a good thing. Other people sometimes, the way they come at me, I got to respond back. Martin Luther King talking about turn, turn the other cheek. Shit, Malcolm X said if they hit you, hit them back. Man, how can I'm turn? Come on. If you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. And, and I'm, I wasn't raised like that. But, but being, being out here in the jungle, in the streets, oh, it's lions out there. And I refuse to refuse to be a lamb. Hmm. I mean, I got to be a lion, too. I got the roar. Oh, look, check it out. I got one of them uh, Rambo knives. Oh, I, I started to bring it, but I ain't want Mark to get uh, nervous. Uh, <laughs> he, he said, I, I appreciate that. But you know, when he was in, doing Rambo, he got that big old knife. I got one now. And I love it. Mm. I love it. I caught one cat. Look, he snuck in my tent, right? Because he seen the bike. He said, hey. I ain't say nothing. So he got to come behind there. And, and I, I was in the tent. And I just unzipped it. And I, and I hit his foot. He said, oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. I said, man, I'm going And he just took off. Took off running. That Rambo's so big. And see, now, now I feel like I got to have some type of safety. Security. But now, I got shelter, my own spot, and I snuck it in there with me. <laughs> he took the Rambo knife in the shelter. Man, I hope they don't see this and kick him out, man. I know this is an old video. I hope they did not kick that man out. Hope Tyrone did not get kicked out over that knife. Tyrone ain't trying to hurt nobody. He's just trying to find comfort. And for whatever reason, that's his Excalibur sword right there. That's his Rambo knife. That's his comfort. Mm. What my mama, you tell me, boy, you ain't got the sense the man upstairs gave you. I do. Well, use it. And they say common sense ain't too common. It's not. And, man, I come and go sometimes. I really do. I come and go. But I ain't gone. I ain't gone at all, man. Because sometimes I have to, I space out sometimes. And I believe everybody do as time go by. Man, they done lied so much to me growing up. I don't even believe I don't believe they went on Mars or to the moon, I mean. I don't know. If either. you went to the moon, why you only went one time? One time, so all the other rockets went up there. All this technology you got now didn't make it. But the, back in the end, they had no goddamn technology, no top of the line shit. They made it to the moon. They didn't. You went one time. I mean, I, I, I give me a camera. I can alternate some shit. Alternate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in stuff. I mean. You say stuff and, and, and stop and have my mind to go the way you want it to go. Or have my mind go whichever way it go and have me believe in some shit. And see, man, I'm, I'm so lost, man. And, and, and sometimes since I get high, I think I enjoy being lost mm. because I don't have to understand that. Mm. It's hard to understand shit. You know, it really is hard to understand something, man, because I mean, I, I want to know my purpose on this universe. And I'm not trying to say I want to do the purpose now. 
Because if I do it now, universe might take me. <laughs> I don't want, I, I won't know my purpose, but I don't want to do my purpose till I'm like 80. <laughs> <laughs> the dude's sharp, man. He's a thinker. He's a thinker. <laughs> That's somebody like, if, imagine if you smoked weed with him and then he took you on one. You guys could find the answers to just about anything messing with somebody like this. It's just nobody will believe you guys. Because when I hit the 90s, they say you come in as a baby, you leave out as a baby. I don't want to be wearing no diapers. No, no. So I, th I figure 80, 82, maybe 85. Okay, universe can take me. But let me do my purpose first. Mm. I mean... See, that's the thing is this could be his purpose. The fact that he's a thinker and he ran across Mark and, you know, sat down in, in front of Mark's cameras and had this discussion that I believe is thought provoking and, and very positive. Um, that could be his purpose. Obviously, he's he's um, even in his addiction has kept his eyes open. Um has recognized when when um, maybe he be, he accepted something that that he didn't have to as far as like the moon landing. I think a lot of us believed it for a long time, and I think as we've grown older and we come to realize, like more than likely it didn't happen, and and even more than that, what was the point of making us believe it happened? You know, but I don't know. Maybe this is his purpose behind this video. The impact that it could possibly have on those that are willing to listen and be open-minded. I've been trying to, I've been cooking out here just to get my comfortability back when I was out here. Cause that's what I did. I, I'm a cook, that's what I, that's that, I love doing that. And I started that when I was 18 years old. That's all I know. So I figured, let me go back. But then I had to think about, I'm not 18 no more. So now I'm trying to hold on to some shit in the past to make me feel good. Mm. So I got some type of void in my life mm. that I'm trying to find out how to fill it. And the only thing I'm, I'm filling it now with is drugs. That's why I'm filling that void right now. Because I don't have anything else to fill that void with. I think everybody got a void in their life. But some people, rich people fill it with money. Some people fill it with sex. Mm. <sighs> you got a void. Your void is just, you, you fill your void with helping people. That's your, that's, that's your void in your life. The way you fill your void, Mark, is helping people. Everybody got a void. They might not know it, but mm. you got to fill the void with something. And yours is helping people, giving people a chance, helping people eat, helping people express themselves. That's how you fill your void. And that's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And you're probably younger than me. You might be older than me. You older? Oh, you look goddamn good. <laughs> you know, damn. And I know you don't want to tell you, you know what I'm saying, your age because you might have one of them whippersnappers get you. <laughs> Hey, I, my, I only know how to one way to fill my void. I had that void since I was a kid. Since since I I met the boogie man, mm. That's when, and, and when I met him and Grandma and my people, I had a void, man. Mm. And that's the only way. Like I said, man, I was drinking when I was five. Pops used to give me hearty tarties, whiskey and lemon. And give me beer and watch me you know, and fall asleep on the floor. I want to end this right there. Because I don't know where he's going to go now. He might go on a different thing. But I want to end it on that. I want people, you know, this is like, this This one turned into a therapy session, right? Hopefully you guys enjoy it and you think about this stuff and you watch it back. And you don't even got to watch it with me. Watch it with him. But um, I believe that too, man. I agree with him. We all have a void. You got to figure out what that void is, and then you got to figure out what are you doing to fill that void. 
even people living a productive lifestyle, there are things that you do that are also affecting your happiness, even though you think you're already happy. With that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, man. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.